It was just another ordinary day. But on this day, Danny Benson almost died. After a freak mining mishap where he was nearly struck with flying boulders, he found himself at a crossroad in his life. He needed something new, something he liked, and something that was a little safer than growing up mountains. Let me see, when I was five to 14, I grew up in all black neighborhood. I was like one white kid for every 25 black kids. Wow. So I was getting my ass kicked regularly <laughs> like on that, a daily basis. Was that like all the white kids? Uh, <laughs> just pretty much just me because I was always a big chunky kid. Uh, so I was always like, you know, the fat one, let's get him. <laughs> but then like when I turned uh, 15, I had this huge growth spurt and uh, all that stuff stopped happening. <laughs> High school, um, first off, it was kind of slow because I was, you know, being a ghetto kid coming into high school, you can't really afford to buy like all the good clothes and stuff like that. So then I got kind of like an outcast sort of thing. And then I started working at Superstore and then I started actually making some money. So then I could actually afford to buy nice clothes for once in my life. And uh, from there on in, <laughs> things got better. <laughs> uh, women like men that are dressed nice. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I grew up in Dartmouth. Like, Dartmouth and Halifax are amalgamated, so they're um, they're combined with each other. So it's like you know, like Toronto, how it has what is it? Mississauga. Mississauga. Yeah. Like right. So yeah, like when I, everyone always says they're from Halifax because everyone knows where Halifax is. But, but then like inside Halifax, there's Cole Harbor, Bedford, um, Dartmouth. Like there's a bunch of other little places all inside the place that are amalgamated. So. Well, that's odd. What? It's like behind here. Do you want to see the woods? It's pretty good. It's awesome. I mean, he just keeps me laughing all the time. Um, I can answer. Yeah. <laughs> he paid me to say that. <laughs> I won't beat you tonight. <laughs> no, he's just, he's determined, so he keeps me going. We both had jobs where, like, we didn't see each other, and, you know, it was kind of shitty, like, right? It was kind of good in a way, too. <clears throat> but, um, we have different tastes when it comes to after work sort of thing, like, I like to go home, party, drink, you know, get in some mischief, and she likes to go and get a bath and read a book. So, if we read together, if we, like, work together, then we can spend more time together without having to... You know, one of us suffer either way. For this course, we have to have our, our nose and our ear to the ground. Like we have to know what everything, everyone's doing, what's changing, how everything's evolving. But like, it sounds really bad. I just want to go back home, and I don't really give a shit what's going on in the world. I just want to design clothes for people that live in Nova Scotia that live the same kind of lifestyle that I live.